America. 1850, believe it or not. It took them years to finish because every time the navvies heard about the gold rush, they just drop their tools and shoot through up to gold gong or something. But they eventually got it done. And this is one of the ditties. Hang on for one minute. They're playing off key attention. They're bugging. <laughs> Musicians, never trust them. And, the, and they had this little ditty that went, um, I'm a navvy, I'm a navvy, I'm a navvy on the line. I get four and twenty bob a week besides me overtime. All the ladies love the navvies and the navvies love their fun. There'll be lots of little navvies when the railway's done. Some like the girls who are pretty in the face. Others like the girls who are slender in the waist. But I like the girls. I like some of these old songs from the Tivoli and uh, I, I go through some of these old songsters and try and find songs about Sydney's history, Australia's history and I find some peculiar things. I found this one, it's about 1910 when we had this newfangled invention called the telephone. We all take things for granted now, mobiles and things, but in those days down at the Sydney Telephone Exchange, they had walls and walls of plugs and wires and women there pulling things out and putting things in, and you'd get cross lines. It was extraordinary, and some of you remember. So this song is from 1910, and it mentions the telephone as a novelty, and it's a song that um, really is about the pleasures of boating around the harbour in Sydney, and we don't get that many old songs about our city, um, so I was really happy to find this one. You right? Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs>
we all die eventually, you know. It's sad but true. I'm, I'm, I'm still in favour of this reverse theory of mine. But I heard about one woman who lost her husband and she tried to make contact with him again. So she went to a seance. And she's there going, And then all of a sudden she hears this noise and she says, Bert, is that you? And he goes, yeah. And she said, oh, Bert, tell me what it's like on the other side. And he said, oh, all right. He said, I get up in the morning about 7 o'clock and I have a bit of a nibble and I have sex till about 10 o'clock and I have morning tea then I have sex till about eh, 1 o'clock and I have some lunch and then I have sex till about 3 o'clock and then I have afternoon tea. Then I have sex till about 6 or 7 at night, have a little bit more to eat. Then I have a sex till about 10 o'clock and then I go to sleep and then it all starts over again. And she says, oh Bert, heaven sounds fabulous. He said, heaven? I'm a rabbit in Dubbo. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you to Robin. Thank you to the city of Sydney. Thanks to the sky. Thanks to my fabulous mates here. And Robin has something to say. It's afternoon tea. Well, let's how about we all clap along with a tune. Hey, you're right, finish it. Edwin Duff, who's in the audience today. So they're two of his music.